What's good everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to another video. And we do have some sad news. Poseidon's Fury is closing forever on the 9th of May. So today we are here to go ahead and experience it one more time and just have an overall really good day at Islands of Adventure. So yeah, let's get into it. shirts that Universal came out with as a tribute to Poseidon's Theory going away. So we're gonna look inside the Universal store over here, see if we find them. Or maybe they're in one of these small shops right here. We'll look everywhere. These are the newest popcorn buckets that they're offering here at Universal. Um, the wings do flap. I'm, I need Katrina's help to do this. Hold on a minute. Hold that, babe. So, I believe the eyes do light up, but also if you wind in the back, turn it around, babe. So, like, they can see. Yeah, you wind it up. The wings flat. And of course, it is a popcorn bucket, which I'm trying to see where you open it. Katrina's smarter than me. She'll figure it out. Well, ah, there you the go. Back. So, that's where the popcorn goes. Oh, actually, it was the ears that flap. So, I don't think. The eyes light up actually, but it looks awesome. They look like glow in the dark, maybe. Actually, I feel like it does because like there's that pull tab right here. So I feel like you can light it up. Yeah, I think you the wheel ears you just move on your own. Yeah, but how do you light it up? Because if there's that pull tab there, that means they light up. We're gonna lock. Hold on. It was hidden, but it's right here at Toothless's top, like for a spike right there. You push that, and the eyes light Oh, up. you can see it. Yeah. Yep. But it's pretty cool. I like it more than the majority of Disney's popcorn buckets. So <laughs> it's plus, really small for holding popcorn. Hey, but it's cute though. I like it. Very cool. Now, I know you don't like the functionality of it, but the majority of Disney's popcorn buckets are not very good application wise either honestly the only one that's they've made buy those. yeah i um, like the alien the that's alien one it. is the only good one yeah that's what i was about to say but, but like, this look, is cute you can hold like a handful of popcorn i can't even yeah it's not bigger than my hand it's really it's so cute though it's but you toothless. could get that that would be cuter as like a stuffed animal or something else why does it need to be a popcorn bucket if it's because, not actually gonna hold popcorn because people love popcorn buckets I, I, I like it. She's being too picky. And if you're curious of the price, they are $29.99 before any discount. You know, one thing that Universal has over Disney, humbly saying, is they make pretty dope lanyards. Like, their designs are crazy. They actually had a really cool one for Poseidon's Fury. Um, when you're a team member, they do um, Park After Dark. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get it because I didn't go. And I kind of regret it because it looks pretty dope. I'll go ahead and show it to you right here if you want to see what it looked like. Here's another popcorn bucket. This one's pretty cool. Like, look how cute the eyes move. But the popcorn storage is definitely a lot better than the toothless one. And it comes with a selfie stick. This is what it looks like in the glass case. Um, I don't see that accessory anywhere, though. Look at this one. I don't know if you get it at the counter or something like that, but these are pretty cool. I love how the eyes move. And then also check this one out. This one's a pretty old actually. It's not like a new design, but look how cute that is. And I think the popcorn goes in the trunk right there. Let's take a look. It opens like right here, I think. Cause this is like really loose. But like how? Is it in here maybe? All right, we pulled it from this side. It was actually this side and you just pull it open. But that's nice. That's why that side looks different though, because yeah. it's a hinge. Okay. This has better application though for popcorn. And by the way, if you buy this... It's still small. I mean, anyways, if you buy it though, the first fill is free. Okay. Got some Super Mario Brothers movie here. Yes, 
All right, so I spoke to some team members. It turns out the shirts are only inside IOA, so we're gonna head inside. Okay, we made it inside Islands of Adventure. However, the shirts are not gonna be at the front. We have to go towards where Poseidon's Fury is, which is fine, because we wanna go on the ride anyway. So we're gonna head there. Hopefully they have the shirts. Oh, look, there's someone wearing the shirt right there. We'll get a better look though once we go get ourselves, but hopefully they have them. We're gonna put on those bad boys and enjoy the show. We're passing by Poseidon's Fury and it is a whopping 50 minute wait, but for good reason. <laughs> so sadly, they don't have any more shirts. We did delay it to want to get these shirts. Um, apparently they do sell them online. Um, I'll try to look on there later today. Just want to have fun at the park, honestly, at this point. But with that being said, I think we're just going to walk around, come back to Poseidon when it's less busy because 50 minutes is a very long time. So we're gonna gamble it and see if we can go back at a shorter wait time. But yeah, you ready, babe? Okay, let's get going. Poe and Tigers are out about taking some photos. Oh, that food looks so good. So cuddly. <laughs> First ride of the day, we're gonna do Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure. It's actually been a little bit over a year since I've been on this ride, which is crazy. So I'm excited for this. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be recording any ride POVs. Universe is not big with recording our rides. But I'll let you guys know how I feel about it when we get back. That was a really fun ride on Hagrid's. It was actually really reassuring when I went on it because usually when I go on Hagrid's, I'm pretty borderline where the pole bar doesn't go down far enough where I can't ride or it's considered not safe to ride. Um, I went way past that, so that's pretty cool because I've been working at Universal and I've definitely been losing a lot of weight. I already lost like 20 pounds actually. I was like at 300 before and now I'm at, actually, yeah, I'm 280. I'm, I was 278, but I'm rounding up a little bit. Uh, all right, now we're heading into Jurassic Park. I'm going to tell you guys a little known secret that really only the team members know, but I'm going to share it with you guys. The T-Rex on Jurassic Park River Adventure she does have a name, yes, it is a she, and her name is Tiffany. How cute is that? All right, next right on the list is River Adventure, which is only a 10 minute wave. Again, we can't record this ride, but we'll let you know how it is when we get off. was a very fun ride on River Adventure. But I will say this, I wonder why don't we have Di uh, Disney World, <laughs> Jurassic World River Adventure here, like they do at California. I mean, what? I'm glad we don't. I mean. It's more screens. That's true, there is less animatronics, but my whole thing with that is, a lot of these animatronics, like they just finished with the refurbishment back in February. And the, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Land Before Time terms here, because I forget the name of the, oh, oh, what's that dinosaur, Ultrasaur? I don't know. I don't know, the long the first, neck. The first one. The long neck dinosaur. Uh, that was like all like in a barricade, like you couldn't even see it because I guess they're still working on it. And also the, Pagrosaurs, both of them, they didn't work either. So a lot of the animatronics are not working at all. So that's why I'm asking like, you know, you went to this refurbishment and nothing really got fixed? I don't know. I don't think it's such a bad idea to put Jurassic World here or they fix the animatronics. One of the two have to happen. Okay, we're walking back towards Poseidon's Fury to finally get our last viewing of that. Not for nothing. I'm happy that they made this walkway to bypass Hogsmeade because Hogsmeade can get really crazy real fast. So thank you Universal for making this walkway. All right, here we go. It looks like it did work in our favor with our gamble and it did go down in wait time. 35 minutes is a lot better than what 50 was. So, <laughs> are you ready, babe? Yee. Yeah. This is going to be emotional. Let's do it, guys. We're going to record this one.
last time walking in this queue and seeing this amazing temple. Oh, this is bittersweet. Makes me so sad. I'm scared, y'all. One of the best things about this line queue really is the AC in here. It is so cold in here. <laughs> what? Too cold for you? It's perfect. For I don't want to go from sweating to shivering. I feel fine. Also, the smell in here. Do you like the smell? Yeah, I like the smell. It's up there with ET for me.
For I am the Spider! First of all, that was a really awesome showing. The person who played Taylor, she killed it. it. I couldn't have asked for a better show, honestly. Everything was pretty perfect. But let's get into rumors now of what's gonna be replacing all of this. Not just Poseidon's Fury, but this entire land. What is this land called again? I forgot the name the of it. The Lost Continent. The Lost Continent. The entire thing is gonna be changed. And there's a very interesting rumor, and it's probably true. Now, the rumor is that Nintendo is coming 
to Islands of Adventure. We know we're getting at an epic universe, but they want to expand it even more. Now, again, this is all a rumor, but how do you all feel about Zelda coming to Islands of Adventure? Dope idea, right? It makes a lot of sense. It, I mean, Nintendo's a big market for them and they're going crazy. There's literally Nintendo merch all over the place in the Universal Orlando Resort. And I think it'll be a really nice addition. However, I am gonna miss this show a lot. Like th this show, it was like top tier for me. It was honestly like a must do for me. Something I enjoy doing all the time. But yeah, that is a rumor. Zelda may possibly come, words. Zelda may be possibly coming to Islands of Adventure. I think the biggest problem with that is going to be the restaurant because that restaurant is like one of the yeah. most popular restaurants. She's in she's referring to Mythos. Yeah, she means Mythos. So hopefully they maybe they'll just retheme it and they'll be able to find a way to make it fit in or something. But yeah, I, don't I, I don't know if I can see them getting rid of Mythos. Which it actually is proven to be one of the best theme park restaurants ever. It is an actual thing. It's pretty good. For the Orlando Informer, I think it's from. Yeah. And there's a couple others. And they, they have pretty solid food. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it's solid. It really is. Um, but that's a good question. Also, with that rumor, they are supposedly trying to bring it to the other park as well once Simpsons yeah. goes away. They're, they're oh, God, please. Go there. Th listen, Simpsons <laughs> has to go. And so does um, Fast and Furious. And it's already confirmed that they're gonna tear down Fast and Furious. It won't be for a couple of years. I think they're gonna do it in 2025, I think was what I read. But it is confirmed that they are getting rid of it. And I think they completely messed up on that ride. It was so underwhelming. The hardest part is that they use their like building for Horror Nights. So they're gonna have right. to figure out how to work around that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they will. but. They, I just hate when Universal recycles stuff and they just go ham with their freaking screens. Like, we want more animatronics. We want more immersive experience. And screens are just not the answer, man. And when you recycle something you did for Kong and then you just do literally the same ride with different theming, that's just not creative to me. I love Universal. I'm an employee for them, but you got, they got to do better, man. Universal Creative. Come on, you gotta step up your game for real. It's literally what they did for Universal Hollywood. They, they yeah. added it into the backlot tour. So that made sense because you were already in the tram going through the different like sets of the movies. Right. And so this, then it just had the little Fast and Furious part. That's and, literally where these rides originate from, from the yeah. backlot tour and then they made an actual ride here. Yeah, and they literally just took that idea from the backlot tour and just made it into a whole ride. That's kind of why it's us. Yeah, no go. <laughs> I did stop and take some photos with my Leica Q. I'll go ahead and show those photos right now. Enjoy them. landing so let's go ahead and do that I'm so excited man look at all the goodies and it's so cheap with my team member discount we're going ham babe show the candy yeah two big bag well take it out there my thing is like halfway chocolate kisses and then halfway Reese's cups is that my bag yeah yeah <laughs> And then there's some like malt chocolate ball, uh, chocolate bars, cannot speak. And then Katrina got weird, more gummy stuff. weird stuff like Swedish fish and disgusting stuff that the And the bananas from uh, Runs. She likes weird stuff. And, I'm going to say uh, that right now. Got some jelly beans and... Yeah. She... <laughs> Listen. She's the type of person that likes to put tuna in her mac and cheese. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen. <laughs> no, that's no. Cheap meals. That's all I'm going to say. No, 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 no. Hey, listen, you can have easy mac without the tuna. 
Oh, it mixes it. So this is cool, right at the Cinemark Theater here at CityWalk. I'm assuming that these are the cards that they use for the movie, which is pretty awesome. I'm not a Hellcat person, let alone a Dodge person, um, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah. I've always been a hardcore BMW M car fan. I freaking love the M cars that BMW does. Like those things are sick. So those will always be true to my heart. But it's still cool to see some movie props. And just like that, we are back in the car. Today was awesome. Babe, what did you think? <laughs> what? Yeah, are you okay? It was yummy. <laughs> But yeah, we got to see Poseidon. I know that we all couldn't see, or I know that we all cannot go to Universal to see Poseidon's last days before it closes. But I hope I was able to bring some content for you guys. And you know, we got to share the moment together as you know, I love you guys so much for being a very supportive audience and watching every video and leaving those likes and all that fun stuff. But guys, thank you so much for watching today. Um, as always, leave a like on your way out. As you know, it will help out the channel a lot. Ring that bell so you know when I'm posting again. As you know, all this stuff will leave a smile on my face. And don't forget to subscribe, for sure. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see the photos I took today, make sure you are following my Instagram page. That is also where I will reach you the quickest whenever you want any breaking news. But with that being said, y'all, thank you so much for walking. Walking. I said thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching guys. See ya.